remember the post I put up the other day about instead of buying the Golf GTI, you could buy the Aston Martin. Well, I was talking to my mate whose friend's got an Aston Martin and he's drove it a few times and he says, do you know what, Dan? See, to be honest, they don't do nothing for me. He says, I was talking to my mate and he says, the two best days of your life when you're owning an Aston Martin is the day you buy it and the day you sell it. <laughs> well, I've owned this RS6 for nearly two months now and I've loved every day here. I drive this, I wish I'd bought something else, I'll be honest. Golf R was amazing, S5, that was a, that was something else. But this is just in a different league, man. It's, it smiles, constantly smiling every time you drive it. I, I, I don't know if it's the V8, that Miltech exhaust, or the wee pops and bangs it does, or just the sheer speed of it, but you try and get the RS6, it's always been top of the tree. And to finally own one is, I can't believe it. See any time I come in for work at night, because you're out grafting and when you come in at night and you look up the drive and you just see this sitting with its big wide arches and its big menacing look and uh, I'm like, that's mine. That is mine. It's, what a feeling, I can't. I can't believe it, it's just proof that hard work actually pays off. And I don't know how long I'll, I'll have it. I'd love to have it for ever and ever, but what I'm paying for it, I could have bought another house and rented it out. So eventually the sensible head will need to take over and we'll maybe get something a bit more sensible, but the now. And I discovered the other day, look, the settings you've got, you've got the digital speedometer in the middle of the screen, but there's one for a lap time, and I had that in my Golf, and I'm sure I had it in S5, and I never really bothered getting into it, because, well, when am I ever going to be recording lap times in this? But, I went into it, and there's actually a boost gauge in it, and this has got an overboost feature because it's a performance. And when you're using the overboost, it glows red. And I think you get this full 750 Newton meters of torque. Mind this is stock figures we're talking about, sir. And there's also, it, it red lines at 6,800. First, second and third gear, it's through them quite quick because it's an eight speed box and I always get caught off guard and uh, bounce off a limiter. But when you get into manual mode and the lap timer, you've got a, a bar that goes green and then red and shows you like a, a shift indicator. Is that what you call it? And that's a big help because now I know when to change gears if I'm using the flappy. I need to down through the box. Right there, we'll get to second. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's juicy. And it lights up with four wheels. I've never drove a stock car. I actually thought this was mapped when I first got it, the way it behaved. I've never had an Audi that lights up the four wheels standard. And I went on to the forums and that, and apparently it's just what they do, man. It's not a bit of traffic, you know, but I've got it in auto mode, so 
it switches between like dynamic and comfort etc like automatically and see when I'm cruising like this it's got a thing called cylinders on demand where it'll shut down uh, four out of cylinders and run as a four cylinder engine saving me fuel <laughs> four litre twin turbo V8 and we're running as a two litre Well, technically we're not. We're running as a four cylinder. There's a wee back road here. That's good. Dynamic package, so it's got the steel, the sports suspension, normally the S, X, what is this, an RS6, it's got air suspension, but this has got the steel dampers and the sports differential, and when you're in sport and dynamic, it sets up a diff to eliminate understeer, and it actually kicks the back end out, you can get oversteer. I know they be oversteer. You ever heard the likes of it? And I've tried it, it does work. steel brakes it's on this, it's no, you can get the optional carbon, cera uh, carbon ceramics which I think are 10 kilos lighter than these stock ones but these are great in fact I don't think it would stop any quicker if I hurt that tree there so Get a head down, knuckle in, see if I can buy one of these, you can buy one. I'm only an old giner, know what I mean? And you won't regret it, and it's a bucket list, that's the box ticked. But I'm not ready to part with it just yet. No way man. Unbelievable. 